Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing well and taking care. What up? My name is Shubham Goyle and I'm super excited and stoked to be here. I am the keynote speaker for the very first official Happy You conference. I'm super, I'm just super excited to be here today. And today I'm going to be giving you all the self-care tips that I do on a daily basis to help my mental health and my happiness and what I do to keep them as high as I can, possibly. Uh, so a little bit about myself is I was on the Netflix, well, I am on the Netflix show, The Circle. And for anyone who doesn't know, The Circle is a show where a group of strangers only, only interact through a social media platform. And you're trying to build friendships and bonds and alliances to get to the end. Definitely recommend watching it. It encompasses our world more than anything. So check it out. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about with self-care and what I do is relationships. Now, the name of the conference, Happy You Conference, is because happiness all derives from you. Relationships are very important because especially the close relationships we all have, that's the majority of the time of the people you're hanging out with, you're spending time with, who know your deepest stuff. So make sure those are people who you really want to be around and who give value to you. You don't feel like it's selfish of you to spend time with people who are giving you value. So everyone who I hang out with or I talk to, they're people who I genuinely feel happy about. And the forefront of that is family. And family is the most important thing and it always will be. So make sure that those relationships with your family members, they are strong because they're always going to have your back no matter what. So those are the relationships I really focus on. Like my mom and dad and my whole family, I'm super close with them. We're, my mom and dad are like my best friends. We spend so much time together and it's just so wonderful to have that support system whatever I do I have that solid support system so I really encourage you guys to focus on those and um, make sure it's all gravy because it helps a lot um, so definitely do that the next thing I want to do is I want to stress on mental health my forefront belief with mental health is this the way I like to look at it, a, sim a, a trick I learned, or I don't know where I learned it from, but it helps a lot with me, is no matter what, when you wake up, you're going to go to sleep. The sun sets, the sun rises. The day is going to end no matter what. So we might as well go through the day having fun or being in a state of positivity and good energy and good aura, right? So Obviously, there's going to be days where I feel anxiety or nervous or I'm just straight like I'm freaking out. But then I, I really remember this thought that the day's going to end no matter what. And when I'm lying on the bed about to sleep, I wished going back that I didn't let those feelings overcome me. So it's OK to feel those feelings, but don't let it overtake you. And just remember that the day is going to end no matter what. So go through it well. <laughs> um, uh, so the next thing I want to dive into, physical dive. Oh, that takes us to the next physical health, pun intended. Your physical health is very important. And although we are all in a pandemic right now, I still think it's important that you get some amount of physical health every day, right? You, whether it's what I do, right? Especially with we're in a pandemic, I do push-ups, I do sit-ups, I play ping pong against the wall. I play frisbee with a fam. Um, and on a long-term basis, when it's open outside, I love to play tennis. I'm a fierce proponent of tennis. And just playing that physical amount of physicality will just keep your body, it'll give you a lot of energy. I find that it gives me a lot of energy and I feel like I have such a zest for life after I do anything physical. So I think no matter what, on a day-to-day -day basis, get some amount of physicality. It doesn't have to be like running a marathon right it just some level no matter what and no matter where you can or what you can do you can always do some physicality so definitely go on that and on the back end of that right um i wanted to actually pivot not pivot just <laughs> talking about social media so it is no shock that we live in the social media world no matter excuse me i thought i was gonna burp the burp didn't come <laughs> Right. We all live in a social media world. It hits us more than anything. And we're all on these sites more than anything. Let's, you know, that's the truth. And all academic reports show that mental health is being negatively affected by social media. Because the problem is we go on Instagram and it's a constant comparison contest. You feel envious. You feel jealous. You feel that um, 
you're not building real bonds on social media and that it's not helping you. And it's the truth for many people. So what I encourage you all to do is really look at the back end reports of what social media does to you. And just remember that social media isn't real world. It's okay to use social media, but use it in moderation. Don't spend like six or seven hours a day. So one thing I do is go to your insights for social media and look at it and it'll tell you how much of the day you're on it. If you feel negative, like the quickest trick is open up Instagram, 20 minutes later, do you feel better or do you feel worse? If you feel worse, you know, you gotta change something. So whether that's less time on social media, aka less time on social media or changing the way you use it, right? So I recommend those two things if um, that is a source of not good health and stuff. So definitely go there. Um, next up, I'm quite hungry. How about you guys? That was a pivot to the next step I wanted to talk about, which is nutrition. Nutrition is a great thing that I find helps a lot with me being happy. One thing that I find tougher to actually realize is water really does help me feel happy and feel energetic, but it's tough drinking water because sometimes it's just tasteless and you have to go to the bathroom a lot if you drink a lot of water. So what I recommend doing for nutrition is drink as much water as you can and then make sure you get all your um, variety of the food groups you need, I would brush up on it because I actually forgot about it. I haven't heard about those in a while. Like food groups, who hears that pyramid anymore? It's like disappeared. So definitely look at that and see what supplements and vitamins you can take if you're not getting in your food. And just to cover it up, right? Make sure you're just getting a variety of food. Oftentimes we eat the same stuff every day, but really actively try to diversify. So you're getting fruits and vegetables and water, um, milk. Milk is very underrated these days, water underrated. So get a lot of food um, variety and nutritionally that'll make you feel better. And it makes me feel better. But that doesn't mean you can't have dessert or anything. Also, on the flip end of that, I'm not saying become a health freak or a monk. I get so much happiness for eating my fast food, my junk food, dessert. I like to binge eat. I binge watch shows. I love to binge eat. So don't be ashamed to eat, you know, good and well because it brings happiness to a lot of it. Um, the next one. Oh, what time is it? Time to talk about the next step, which is time and organization. Here's one thing I actually think really helps with uh, mental health. We often feel that you have to do one thing or the other. Like if you have a job, you feel like the job is your life, but that doesn't have to be. What I do is I like to shoot multiple rockets, right? So while I was working at a virtual reality company, I really wanted to help the governor, or I wanted to help the state of California because it's where I grew up um, with a lot of platforms that I could be thought would be effective and efficient. So I ran for governor of California while I was working full time at a job. I was doing all these multiple things. I was going to every state and city with my um, microphone, giving speeches, talking about what we can do to improve the state of California. So what my thing is, you don't be afraid to shoot more than one rocket. If you have multiple passions, that's good. If you want to learn stuff, you do. You always have time. And we always get into this mentality where there's not enough time in the day. There is. Trust me. Don't be afraid to shoot multiple things. And you don't have to be just one thing. You don't have to be this or that. You can be multiple stuff. So don't be afraid to shoot 15 passions and see where they go on. Juggle as much as you can. And I promise you, there is time to do it all. And you'll feel happier because you feel like... When you do just one thing, you kind of get irritated because you feel that, wait, I am compromising other stuff I want to do. But once you start juggling all of them together, that's what I do. I feel like, oh, I'm able to do it all. And I just feel grateful I can. So remember to make time for other stuff you want to do, because that's really important with your mental health, um, that you don't feel compromised and stuff. So just juggle them all. And um, yeah. And then... Now it is time to design the next step. Design. Design is the next thing I wanted to bring up. So it goes hand in hand with time, but design is how my life is how I design my life, right? Every day I try to get some physical exercise. Every day I try to just talk with family um, and friends and make time for that and do stuff I want to do. I, uh, I do think actually projects, whether it's short term or long term projects are really good for mental health also. So say... I don't know, say you're a clothing designer, right, on the side. It's a passion of yours. Every day, I or for the next two months, create a project where you want to create a new 
street design or a logo or a brand and every day you reach out to designers to work on it. Um, so just active projects really help out a lot. Um, you know, so like for me right now, I'm, uh, in addition to working, I'm creating, I'm designing this app on this mobile app on the side. And it's so much happiness because this little project you have, you can always go to day to day and you're motivated about it. And it's something I'm passionate about. So that is my thing. Have projects short term and long term. And it goes hand in hand with the passions. It's great to have those, which is wonderful. And the last thing we want to do is finance. Money is the root of uh, all evil, as they say. So, <laughs> sorry, I just, I, it's a quote. But um, look, my thing with money is I think it's a double-edged sword. I think have focus on getting enough money where you're financially, you know, you're not in a very tough position. Because I do think with happiness, for me, what I've looked is once I have enough money to take care of myself stability-wise, you feel relaxed and at ease, mental health and self-care. You're very relaxed on those. But I think chasing stuff for money or doing it for the, the buck or you know, just putting all your eggs and just making the most money instead of what makes you happy. I think there's a fine line between that. So don't do that. Do enough for the money to keep you supported and financially free. But then focus on your passions and do stuff you really like. Because I promise you the money will come when you do that anyway. So just do that also. And yeah, I hope that was groovy and rad. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed these um, I'm so excited you're here with us to enjoy the Happy You Conference. It's an amazing conference filled with such amazing people. Each and every one of them brings such a wide variety of eclectic experience. So definitely learn from it. I wish you all the best and happiness in every day. It's an ongoing thing to fight for your happiness. But just like Happy You Conference, it's you that matters. So focus on it. And I wish you guys all the love and best. So, yeah. Cuckoo. All right, guys, stay safe and all the love. Mwah.